so I actually got the valve cover off. I had to do a lot of stuff, man. I had to remove this brake booster kind of kind of loose right here so we had to move up this bracket right here that holds the fuse box in place so what I had to do she turned the engine over and check this out so like I said this is the valve spring that's messed up and uh, I turned the engine over so the lobes won't be uh, pressing down on the rocker but look how loose this is look I'm gonna push from the bottom and check this out you shouldn't be able to do this <laughs> it just comes right out so shouldn't be that easy at all now what we're gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and I can literally turn this valve so easy check this out I can move it up and down all right, let's get to this. I got a special tool for this, and we're gonna take this off. Okay, so what I did, I actually had to get this special tool. Special tool right here, and this is what released the actual valve spring. And check this out. So when we pulled this valve spring off, like I said, it was completely broken into two. So that's why we weren't getting compression on that cylinder. So right now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this brand new valve spring that I got from the dealership. We're going to put it on. I'm not going to show the process of putting it on, but what I'm going to do once we have this all on, I'm going to go back to the to oscilloscope and we're going to test it out and verify that we have a fix right here. All right, so I have everything back on. I have my amp clamp hooked on to a uh, battery positive. I have my other uh, connection hooked up to uh, ignition one trigger. So right now what we're gonna do, we're gonna crank this over and let's check this out. Let's see what we got. Okay, so I'm gonna pause this and let me zoom in for a little bit all right all right so let's find where we have our cranking and let's try this hey uh, there we go so look at our our, our bumps right here so as you can see, here's one trigger, there's another trigger, so we can count between here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six. And again. So as you can see, I'm gonna see if I can put another picture down low so you can see the, the difference from what this is to the other one. And uh, I can say this is a fix. Turn on the vehicle, no more hiccuping, no more misfires. It uh, actually sounds a lot better. So there you go. This is just gonna be, like I said, a messed up valve spring. And here you go. This is the, the damaged valve spring right here. All right, so if you do like this video, please thumbs up subscribe and share and don't forget to hit the little notification bell to get all the brand new videos coming out from Oz Mechanics hope y'all like this y'all take care